Hi everyone, we are so happy to be with you on this Tuesday right before Thanksgiving. A very dear friend of ours, um, she and her husband and daughter mailed us this book for Thanksgiving. It's entitled Giving Thanks. And I just wanted to share with you a poem out of that that we were reminded of as we were looking through this. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Each little flower that opens, each little bird that sings, he made their glowing colors, he made their tiny wings. All things bright and beautiful. The purple-headed mountain, the river running by, the sunset and the morning that brightens up the sky. All things bright and beautiful. The cold wind in the winter, the pleasant summer sun, the ripe fruits in the garden, he made them, everyone. He gave us eyes to see them and lips that we might tell how great is God Almighty who has made all things well. And this comes to us from Cecil Francis Alexander. So God is great because he made a world that gives us endless cause to give thanks. And that's really wonderful because when we give thanks, we not only bless ourselves, but we bless other people also to whom we give the thanks. Uh, in fact, they've done a study that people that get regular thanks for the work they do are 80% more likely to work hard on the job than others. So people uh, love to receive thanks. They also love to give thanks. Giving thanks is such a valuable thing that one guy tried to make a joke and Mark Twain turned it on him. Mark Twain at the time was so popular a writer that he was being paid for $5 per word of every, anything that he wrote and got published. And that was a lot more money then than it is now. And somebody sent Mark Twain a letter and had a $5 bill in it and a little note. He said, uh, please give me a word worth $5. Mark Twain pocketed the $5, wrote uh, on a postcard the single word, thanks. And so we hope that you will give thanks, um, especially as we're going into Thanksgiving. But thanks to others, receive thanks from others. And look for the little things as well as the big. It might be the little cranberry that you're giving thanks for, or a big turkey, or it could be hearing from someone you haven't heard from in a long time. It could simply be sit quietly and taking in the moment. For all of this and even more, may you have a very blessed, thanks-filled day. And we are thankful for you. God bless you. Bye-bye.